this week we're with Tower Lodge Outfitters in Saskatchewan, Canada, and we're hunting bears. And the show starts right now. Crystal clear. My first hunt with dad, chasing my first big buck mule deer. With bright orange vest and old wool cap. Hiking on tired legs, rifle slung across my back. There's one memory that still stands out above the rest. When daddy looked me in the eyes and said Shoe straight, son I know you can I pray, God will guide your hand When your big chance comes around Push away all fear and doubt Back in Canada, Saskatchewan with Tower Lodge Outfitters. It's just like coming back to see family for a reunion. We love hunting together with the family. However, this time Walker's not with us. Big Sky Bird Dogs, his female, just had a litter of pups and he's staying home to take care of them. So we will miss him, but we're going to send him pictures for sure. Yeah, he's got those puppies and he's training bird dogs, getting ready for the upcoming waterfowl season. And how exciting is it to come back up to a place we've been here before? Like you said, they treat you like family. There's a beautiful lodge. It's only five years old. First class accommodations, great food. Yes. We always love coming to Saskatchewan. The tourism department up here, they're so nice and, and uh, it's just a great place to visit. It is, it's gonna be a wonderful week. We also have some special guests with us. I mean, we have the muzzle loading team with us. Oh, I mean, man. you're Mr. CVA, right? right? I mean, you got yep. the muzzle loader, got the gun. We also have Michael McMichael with Power Belt Bullets, and then we also have Chris Hodgden, Hodgden Powder. See a correlation right there? That's right. He's a great friend of Shoot Straight TV and of the Shear family. He's never went on a bear hunt with a muzzleloader successfully before. Oh, so this could be his first bear then. Yes, we are gonna try and do all we can to see what happens. It's gonna be an action-packed show. Sit back and let's see what happens. Shoot Straight is brought to you by CVA Muzzleloaders, Bergara Rifles, Power Belt Bullets, Ochacos.com, Buck Knives, Muzzleloaders.com, Real Tree Camouflage, Arms Core Ammo, Conus Optics, Acura Bullets, Triple Seven Firestar Pellets, Bitterroot Tool and Machine, Ballastol, Roper Apparel, Atchison Taxidermy. We got in the stand. The sun is shining. We've had a few days of really cold, yucky, rainy weather. It lifted. It's beautiful today. We got into the stand. The bait was in last night. So that's good. Last night we had a bear come in right on the edge and didn't get a shot. Um, but, uh, Bears are definitely moving. We're on with Tower Lodge Outfitters. They run an awesome first class operation. So uh, sit in the stand. Chad's on camera. I got my CVA Power Belt Bullet and my Hodgkin Powder. So I got the best muzzleloader combo there is. And uh, I'm just ready for a bear to show up. So let's see what happens. Spirit. 
isn't quite what we're looking for. So we're gonna go ahead and pass. It's still early. Still got a lot of time. And uh, see if something else comes out. Congratulations. Marcia. Thank you. Thanks for being out here with me, running camera. Tell you what, I love hunting with the family and being in the stand with Chad. These last few days have been great, but there's something about this bear hunting. It's just, I didn't realize I was so hooked on like adrenaline, but <laughs> that smaller bear was coming in right behind us today. And uh, I was like, ah! <laughs> and then this bigger boar came in and I said, okay, I'm gonna shoot this one, Chad. Well, they, they took off. That young one took off. We yeah. had him in here for a while. And then this bigger one, they were came in together. I'm like, that first one, I'm like, that's a different bear. That's big. I saw the littler one behind it. And that smaller bear was probably a three-year-old bear. Yeah, yeah. And this guy just was like good, almost eight, ten inches at the shoulder higher. Right, than right. You could tell the difference. Big blocky head, ears off to the side. And a spring bear. Oh. So great for a spring bear. Oh. So. What a, what a nice bear. We're going to get this bear taken care of, but I tell you what, we have lots to be thankful for. I'm going to thank the Lord for this harvest today. Please do. Dear Lord, thank you so much for your beautiful creation. Thank you, Lord, for us enjoying it together as a family. Thank you for Chad and I getting to be out here in your wonderful outdoors and just seeing the creation and the nature. Thank you for this bountiful harvest. Thank you for the food that will prepare. And Lord, thank you so much for all your blessings on us. Be with our military and our families. In your name I pray, amen. Here comes Val. We radioed, we got the bear down. We got it out here. So he's coming in for the pickup. <laughs> we even did some of the hard work to get it out. Yeah, yeah, we left you a little bit of work. <laughs> he loves his camera work and the pictures. I mean, look at this face. What do you want it on picture? Yeah, <laughs> well, we had, we had a, uh, thank you, thank you, thank I you. I tell you what, we have told, we've told these people if they want a good bear hunt, Tower Lodge Outfitting, it's been phenomenal. It's not as big as my bear last year, but you can't always get the biggest, but it came in perfect, good lighting, and, uh, I just needed to pull that trigger. We got good footage, so they're loving watching it. Nice. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. It's time now for a Straight Talk Tip of the Week, brought to you by muzzleloaders.com. You know, I've hunted on five continents with a muzzleloader, and I tell you, my favorite powders that I've ever used are the Hodgson family of powders. And for years, you've seen us use Triple Seven, you've seen us use Pyrodex, but now there's a new powder right here that's incredible. Marsha is the first lady to ever use this powder. You were one of the first guys to ever use this powder, mm -hmm. the first one mm -hmm. on a hunt that I know of, right? Mm -hmm. Right, right. Let's quit talking and look at this. Chris, tell me what we're about to unveil here in Canada. These are the new Fire Stars and they're they're shaped like a star mm -hmm. and they've got the hole in the center just like the standard triple seven pellet these are made out of triple seven 
And so they're about 35 grains by volume each. Mm -hmm. So the standard load is, is three of them for 105 grains. Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, of course, the power belts are, are my favorites, uh, uh, especially uh, for, for the Acura. So, so um, we did some experimenting right. a couple weeks ago, and we went out to the range, and we fired um, 10, 12, 13 of them. Mm -hmm before we had to run a patch down wow. which is which is unreal because in the past you know you'd get that kind of that resistance down towards the bottom of the breech what it is is we're getting a a, a longer shot string right. down the barrel a lot and longer fouling so you can really really push past it and it goes down nice and easy and consistent every time and so when you're out in the field you won't get that hard resistance uh, when you're out um, after your first shot so, if I'm understanding this right, Triple Seven is extremely clean, but does this make it even cleaner to shoot? Even cleaner. Wow. Even cleaner. Absolutely. And that's your straight talk tip of the week. Now let's join Chris Hodgden from Hodgden Powder as he pursues his first muzzleloader black bear. Well, we just got up on the tree stand and um, got my muzzleloader all ready to go. And the wind is non-existent. It's been raining for a couple days. So we think that this is gonna be an ideal time to see something tonight. The bears are really hungry. Uh, they've been in hibernation for something like seven months. So we're really, we're really excited because we think tonight would be is going to be just a perfect time. Yeah, we just um, uh, wrapped up this this hunt today uh, with Tower Outfitters. They are just a wonderful group, a, a wonderful family. Um, and uh, and uh, this bear shot him, and he went about uh, 20 yards. And uh, and we just got him out of the woods here, so um, that's why I'm out of breath. <laughs> it's been a great day. What a great just the adrenaline just running rampant when we saw this bear come out and he was he was feeding we just let him let him do his thing and 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 decided to go ahead and take him but it's uh it's really an exciting hunt uh to uh to be around these bears it's incredible now let's join michael mcmichael of power belt bullets as he tests out their new design I'm here in Saskatchewan, going to try out this brand new power belt bullet that we've designed. We haven't even named it yet. It's a boat tail design and we're going to try it on some bears. We're going to see how it goes. That new power belt bullet, the CVA Acura, and that new hydrogen powder is a great combination. Now let's join Marsha in the kitchen for recipes from the field, brought to you by Buck Knives. This week, recipes from the field, we're actually doing a crock pot recipe. Crock pot venison and noodles. Now we actually have an elk back strap, but you could actually use bear for this too. A lot of people say, how do I cook the bear? This would be a great recipe you could use that for. I actually have my meat cut up in strips, and then I'm gonna actually just toss in the seasoning. I use a alpine salt or a seasoning salt that you prefer. 
get it on there really good. And then some minced onion, just to add some flavor in. And then whatever your flavoring is that you like for your steak seasoning, we have a Montreal steak seasoning that our family likes. Put that in there and you actually can do it pretty heavily because of the fact that it's gonna cook for several hours. So I go a little heavy on my seasoning when I'm going in my crock pot. Gonna toss that around good so it gets in all the meat. You can even smell all the flavors in it for the seasoning. We're gonna actually put this right into the crock pot. I have the meat in the crock pot. I'm gonna use one pack of au jus mixture and put that in there. Then I actually use one pack of French onion soup mix seasoning. Add one can cream of mushroom. Then we're gonna to top it off with some beef broth. This is about two cups of beef broth. And you can kind of watch it as you're cooking if you're you know, around and close by to kind of add a little more juice if you need to. Um, but with everything in there, it should be great. We're gonna stir this up, put it on high and cook it anywhere from about three to five hours, depending on the tenderness or the doneness that you like your meat. Then we're gonna add the noodles and the mushroom and a little bit of heavy cream in there. So we'll come back and show you right what we do before we're finished. I've got the venison that's been cooking in the crock pot for about three hours. Went ahead and put in another cup of beef broth. I had that reserved, added a cup of beef broth, and now I'm gonna put in the bag of egg noodles. And also gonna add in some mushrooms. Gonna stir this in with the venison and the broth, mix it all in good, and let it cook for about one more hour on high. Crock-Pot venison noodles, completely finished. Served with a little bit of parsley. You could actually serve it with mashed potatoes also. It is one great recipe. Put it in the Crock-Pot and it's ready for later. Check out ShootStraightTV.com for recipes from the field. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We'll see you next week. We're taking a break from the great hunting and fishing action on Dory Lake to visit with Power Lodge's one and only Val. He's the outfitter up here. Great guy, good friend. We've hunted up here for several years. Let's tell the folks that are watching the show today a little bit about your operation. Well, we're on Dory Lake, on the east uh, side of Dory Lake. Uh, the lodge is five years old. Mm -hmm. It's uh, relocated from the original place that it's been established in 1964. Wow, so. it's comfortable, hot showers, incredible food. How big is your area up here? Like we hunt about 240,000 square acres of pristine forest uh, for bear and whitetail. Uh, we have a great fishing on Dory Lake. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Every day it's a, a new day with a new surprise. <laughs> so. That's for sure, there's big walleye, there's big northern pike. Now, you do the guided tours up here for your big game, you do the fishing, but you also offer some neat packages for you folks that wanna come up and do it on your own for the fishing, tell us about that. Anybody that would like to bring his own boat, they can just rent a cabin, or we offer boats too. Uh, or on a full inclusive meal, uh, deal with the lodge with meals and accommodate with uh, accommodation and the boats. Uh, whatever you guys would like to do, it's uh, it's all we got it. He customizes packages for you. The website's on the bottom of your screen. North Central Saskatchewan. It's a great place to come. Whether you live in Canada and want to come up and visit, or you travel from anywhere around the world or the United States, this is an awesome, awesome outfitter. Tower Lodge Outfitting. Check them out, and you'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching. And remember, take time with your family to enjoy God's great outdoors. See you next week. Shoot Straight is brought to you by CVA Muzzle Loaders, Bergara Rifles, Power Belt Bullets. Ochacos.com
Buck Knives, MuzzleOders.com, Realtree Camouflage, Arms Core Ammo, Conus Optics, Acura Bullets, Triple Seven Firestar Pellets, Bitterroot Tool and Machine, Ballastol, Roper Apparel, Atchison Taxidermy. Additional product provided by Diamond D Leather, Ashley Quarter Horses, Lodge Cookware, Hardcore Decoys, Big Sky Bird Dogs, Montana Flying Company. Closed captioning is brought to you by Butler Bags.